Did you ever wonder how dangerous being neighbors with a black hole can be? Watch the NASA video with the terrible details of one of them having its lunch. A black hole with six million times the mass of our sun tore a star to pieces and swallowed it. This happened in the constellation Volans, the flying fish, at a distance of 375 million light years from our solar system. But what if such a monster were hiding near our cosmic border? ready to cross it at any time. How close are black holes to the Earth? And at what distance can we feel safe from them? At the very center of our galaxy, there's a giant, similar to the one that tore apart the star in the constellation Flying Fish. This is the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A star, which has a mass four million times that of our Sun. Like its brothers, Sagittarius A star feeds on clouds of gas and dust along with other celestial bodies that are affected by its gravity. But don't be scared, this monster is located 25,640 light years from Earth. Astronomers believe that at such a great distance, it doesn't pose a threat to our planet. In addition to Sagittarius A star in the Milky Way galaxy, according to some estimates, another several million black holes, about 30 times heavier than our Sun, are hiding somewhere out there. Although astronomers have not found any of them in dangerous proximity to our solar system. While the closest candidate among black holes near us, V616 Mon, was found by scientists in the Monoceros constellation. It's located in a binary system at a distance of 3,000 light years from the Earth, paired with a star with a mass equal to half that of our Sun. In second place, at 7.8 thousand light years away, is Cygnus X1, which is also part of a binary system. By the way, until 2009 it was believed that V404 Cygni was twice as far from our planet. However, with the help of an array of new generation high sensitivity array radio telescopes, astronomers were able to accurately determine its location. They tracked how the position of V404 Cygni is shifting in the sky as the Earth rotates around the Sun. This method is called parallax measurement. It's used to establish the distance of space objects. New equipment made it possible to evaluate the position of V404 Cygni, taking into account the influence of a rather dense layer of dust in galactic space. It's noteworthy that this black hole also has a partner star. The system includes a blue giant with variable brightness, designated HDE 226868. But generally, only a small part of these space objects in the galaxy are in binary systems. It's easier for astronomers to find them paired with stars. Light can't escape the area of a black hole. It cannot be seen directly. And the source of X-ray radiation in space is a binary system, where a young large star is paired with either the remains of a neutron star or a black hole. Astronomers can detect these. Astrophysicist Charles Haley from Columbia University, New York, and colleagues recently examined data on radiation emitting from space from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. Scientists have discovered 12 low-mass binary systems of stars with black holes in the center of our galaxy. However, astronomers hope that over time they'll be able to identify individual black holes. And one day, they'll find that one of them is not far from Earth. We just don't know about it yet. The black holes we can't see are likely to be very dangerous neighbors. It's better to be as far away from them as possible because we're talking about space objects with an incredibly high density of matter. The matter there is compressed so densely that the Earth under such compression would become the size of a peanut. Space and time inside the black holes cease to have any meaning. And all the laws of physics known to us, which can explain these two concepts, are no longer relevant. Gravity in black holes is immeasurably high and draws inward 
all celestial bodies that fall in the way. Even light is not able to break out of this abyss. Hypothetically, according to some estimates, a spaceship weighing 24 million tons would be able to escape from the force of a black hole's gravity. This giant will need more than two octillion, that's two times 10 to the 27th power, joules of energy to free itself from the captivity of a black hole whose mass is just over one nonillion. This is a unit with 30 zeros, or 10 to the 30th power kilograms, or 2.2 nonillion. That's 2.2 times 10 to the 30th power pounds. Unfortunately, the creation of such a heavy and powerful craft is not yet possible, even in theory. Scientists claim that a black hole could catch our planet in a gravitational trap at a maximum distance of several tens of light years. In this case, it will first tear the Earth to pieces and then swallow it. However, even if the black hole appears a little further away, we still shouldn't expect anything good. The monster is strong enough to create a catastrophe in the solar system. In the best case, its gravity would somewhat push the planet out of its orbit or send it closer to the sun. Then we would suffer from numerous natural disasters. And in the worst case scenarios, the Earth would fall into the sun or go into the depths of space, dooming us to an icy death. But this hasn't happened even once in billions of years. So most likely there's no black hole dangerously close to the Earth. The sun, fortunately, will also never turn into an invisible monster. To do this, it should have 10 to 15 times more mass than it does now. Only under such a condition could gravitational collapse occur when under the influence of gravity, the matter of a star literally collapses to one tiny point. Stars in neighboring galaxies are also not suitable for the role of potential black holes. Most of them are red dwarfs, greatly inferior to our sun in mass. Here we should sigh a breath of relief and believe that this cosmic danger doesn't threaten us. But no, it turns out there are wandering, supermassive black holes. Most likely, they're pushed from their home by the process of merging galaxies. This hypothesis of wandering, supermassive black holes was put forward by one Michael Tremel and his colleagues from the Yale Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics. According to the scientist, during a merger, a supermassive black hole will be ejected from the center of a smaller galaxy to the periphery of the newly formed structure. To test the hypothesis, the researcher conducted a computer simulation of the collision of galaxies with different masses. It confirmed the possibility that a black hole from one of them would go wandering. Then there's a chance that someday one of these wanderers decides to visit our sun. To determine if dangerous guests are threatening us, scientists used Romulus simulations. The purpose is to create computer simulations of the evolution of galaxies. Researchers have studied the dynamics of the alleged wandering black holes in the Milky Way. It turned out that convergence with one of these wanderers capable of affecting our solar system could occur approximately every 100 billion years. This is almost seven times times the age of the universe, 13.8 billion years, and it's unlikely that we will ever see such a guest. Unless one day we ourselves invite a black hole. Of course, now it sounds fantastic, but scientists are already making plans for this. Thus, an astrophysicist from Columbia University, David Kipping, said that the attraction of black hole pairs will give us the ability to fly through the galaxy at an incredible speed. His idea is to direct photons around the black hole and then use the extra energy they receive to propel a light sail. There are millions of black holes in space. According to Kipping, in the future, humanity will turn them into a kind of astronomical fuel for interstellar flights. 
and the famous theoretical physicist and cosmologist Stephen Hawking admitted that a miniature black hole the size of a mountain could someday appear in low Earth orbit. Then it could be used as a power station. Such a miniature black hole should emit X-rays and gamma rays with an intensity of about 10 million megawatts, which is enough to provide energy to our entire planet. And if one day, astronomers discover a black hole near the Earth, perhaps this won't be a catastrophe, but a new advance in development for mankind. Do you think it's worth the risk for such amazing opportunities? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a quick thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so as not to miss new releases, all the most interesting stuff about the incredible mysteries of space and the achievements of science are yet to come. Until next time.